All right, y'all, here I have the 351 Windsor sitting outside, and uh, we're going to clean it. I already power washed it, but um, there's still some grease and some grime and some dirt and all this other crap that's all on it that needs to be taken off. This is what we're going to be taking it off with. And uh, here we go. What's up, y'all? Here it is, another day at the garage. Um, well, see, we do need to clean this thing, but look at this thing right here in the background. It just looks sad. It's full of pollen, full of bird crap. I'm gonna have to wash it this weekend because, man, I, I really it bothers me just to see it like that, and uh, I really need to get this thing going because, well. I just haven't been able to drive it. Um, as some of y'all already know, I am gonna put this automatic transmission in this truck uh, after I put this this roller motor in there. But of course, you see this brake clean, and I have this the wire small wire brush. I am needing to clean this block because it's still man, it's just, just so grimy right now. But that's what we're gonna do. I, and with the little help of this contraption right here, I did get the, the block pretty damn good. Pretty good. All right, so here's the block already painted. I know I skipped a little bit forward, but um, this timing chain cover, I'm actually gonna take back off and, and redo it because I just needed this on here just for right now and, you know, while I painted it because I didn't want the paint getting inside the engine. Um, and then I'll, I'll loosen it just now, but there's still oil and grime um, on, a little bit on this thing, and I just want to take it back off to make it right. And I'm gonna show y'all. Um, I'm gonna show y'all the heads and the intake that I'm that I, I'm going with. And um, well, just for mock-up purposes i'm not going to put them on quite yet because i don't have all the parts and pieces that i actually need the intake i still need to get that uh, machine just a little bit uh to be able to run the injectors but um yeah let me go ahead and mock this up for y'all all right this is a holly high ram this one is for the 351 of course you still see um the cover right here for the valley trick flow 11r heads and um they're 190 cc I'm not going too big on this because i'm actually not going to change out the internals on this quite yet maybe later on down the road but not yet i still need to get the intake still need to get these injector holes done and uh need to get a distributor that actually that's actually going to fit this and i'm thinking about going a crank trigger um set up i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure yet but yeah so it looks like right now just mocked up all right so i, I took all this stuff back inside because i am keeping that stuff inside the house and in plastic bags so it doesn't get any kind of rust any kind of corrosion whatsoever on them uh i know it's aluminum and well, well whatever um so basically you can see. I finished cleaning off the surface on the block on both sides and I went ahead and, and painted the heads uh, I need to clean this surface all these four actually all the eight surfaces because um, this is for the exhaust manifold and I do have the gasket for it um, I did paint them uh, looks like an aluminum an aluminum color The valve covers I am gonna paint black, but I'm gonna, you know, do something with this Ford logo. 
maybe I'll find out what I'm gonna do. All right, so now I'm gonna put on these Velcro uh, head gaskets, and as you can see right here, it shows, you can barely see it. You see where it says front? The last people that put this motor or worked on this motor actually had these gaskets on backwards. We're gonna go ahead and put this one on right here. It doesn't have the dowel pin, so we're just gonna hold it in with the spark plug. And we're gonna make sure that this other side of, that has both dowel pins, the front goes to the front. All right, as y'all can kind of tell, I put one of the heads on and uh, put the other head on right now. Make sure it seats all the way. And I just gotta put the bolts in it now. Well, and of course there's the torque sequence. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, and it goes from 55 foot pounds to 65 foot pounds to 95 foot pounds. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description, or I'm gonna put the link maybe somewhere. I don't know, somewhere on the screen right here. And uh, just to direct y'all to be able to check out the uh, the website on the the torquing specs for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and torque them down to 55 right now. And I know the website says 95 to 110, so uh, we're just gonna go ahead and and uh, torque them down to 100 foot pounds. So that's it. Um, as far as bolting the heads down, just gotta do the same thing to the other side. All right, I finished cleaning up the dog bones, the spider, the rollers, the rocker arms, and or push rods I mean and now the the rocker arms um it shows to torque them down 17 to 23 we're gonna meet right in the middle at 20 and I'm just gonna go through all of them and make sure they're all torqued down in the right way all right I'm putting the lower intake uh, gaskets on and uh, you can see where it says head side so whenever it says head side, it's facing down onto the head. And uh, I jumped ahead of myself a little bit. And I actually put these, these are called China walls. So I accidentally put China walls on when I wasn't supposed to. Make it a mess here. And uh, So I got to do a little bit more cleaning up, uh, just wiping down surfaces right here on the china wand that's in the front. So I could put this gasket right here on. I'm gonna put a small bead. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm just gonna put a small bead all the way along it. All right, just got to get the bolts. Just got to get the bolts for them and put them in place. Maybe I should have gone. Maybe I should have gone for some new bolts instead of these old rusty ones. Um, but that'll be just fine. All right, so I just came back from O'Reilly and uh, I actually purchased this new uh, water pump only because this one, whenever I was looking at it earlier, it does have um, a leak at the bottom. And yeah, I'm not trying to use that. I'm not trying to fix it or anything like that. I just, I mean, it was 35 bucks, so might as well just get a new one. But we're about to take this one off. As y'all can see, I already, 
put the wiring and I put the injectors, the fuel rail, a couple of other things on this. But um, we're kind of almost done kind of with uh, putting this thing back together. I still need to tighten down the lower portion of the intake and then put the upper intake on. But let's take care of this right now. All right, so I'll put a thin, I put a thin uh, layer of this gasket maker, silicone, whatever you want to call it, on this. And uh, I kind of had a question. If any one of y'all could answer why, right here in the middle of the, of the timing chain cover where the water pump goes, I mean, you have an edge all the way right there and the edge all the way coming down. But right here, I have to put extra gasket maker only because for some reason there's like a gap i don't know why but yeah there's a gap and i just put an extra gasket maker there and i'll go ahead and put this gasket on all right i put the valve covers on and i just finished putting on the upper intake i thought i was recording it but uh obviously i didn't well it wasn't um so i tighten down all these bolts and actually use this it's a small socket it's actually a quarter and i think the the torque bit is 30 i think and well there goes that um yeah and that's that one all the way in there right here that you can see that's the one that i used it on it's pretty hard to get to they actually make a tool for that but uh, i had it right here at the house all right i've already put on um like some of the wiring stuff and of course the the ac compressor the alternator i put on the pulley down here the harmonic balance pulley uh, just need to clean this up just a little bit. Um, has a little dust on it, and um, I'll go ahead and start putting on the plugs for this thing. All right, so right here in the Haynes manual uh, for the 351 5.8 liter, um, 351M, the 400, 94 and later, and also 5.0s. So the firing order is going to be 1372-6548. Alright y'all, so that's basically all there is to it um, as far as putting this motor together. I did put the motor back in the truck. I, I put the E4D in the truck also. Unfortunately, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make a transmission tunnel for the truck because... It sits a little bit taller than the than the T56, and is actually a little bit longer than the T56 also. So I'm gonna have to shorten the drive shaft a little bit, and complete the wiring, and uh, got a few things that I gotta do before I start driving the truck again. Uh, I'm also gonna adjust the rear suspension. I do have um, the new uh, lease purchase for the leaf springs. I am gonna have to figure out the, the pinion angle on those um, so that I'll take 100% of the vibration out of the truck because I still have a slight vibration in there. And um, yeah, that's it for this video. So I hope you have a good one. I'll see you on the next one.